Hi, this is going to be a short video demonstrating how to install the drivers for the wireless card and configure it for the internet. <coughs> so the first thing I've done is I've copied the drivers onto a memory card and put it in the iPack. Now I'm going to click on Start and go to fi uh, Programs, File Explorer, and Storage Card. And this is the driver, SDIO03. Now it's going to uh, actually be .cab. Cab files are self-installing pocket PC files. So I can click on that file and it's going to immediately start installing the drivers. Okay, now we'll get a splash screen telling us uh, that the uh, driver's installed and, and do a soft reset. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to close all that out. Then I'm going to go and insert my stylus in the small hole at the bottom of the eye pack just for a second and start uh, a reset, reboot the eye pack. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the memory card because we're going to need to insert the wireless card. Okay, I'll insert the wireless card now. Okay, now you probably will not be able to see this, but the wireless card started blinking and we get this message screen come up. Now, here's where it can get a little confusing. Uh, Linksys is the name of the network that uh, uh, I'm using here. It's asking me to connect, do I want to connect to the internet or to work? you always tell it work. So I'm going to choose work and then I'm going to click on connect. And uh, you would think that might be the end of it, but it's not. Uh, at that point we want to go uh, to start. We're going to go to settings. We're going to click on connections. Uh, and then we're going to click on the icon for connections. Now at the bottom you see the tab called Advanced. Click on Advanced and then we have three choices here. We want to click on Select Network. Here we have a couple of drop down boxes where it says uh, My ISP. We want to change that to My Work Network. Alright and then we're going to click OK and click OK again and X out of this page and at this point we should be connected to the Internet and able to use Internet Explorer. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen a uh, transmitting tower, icon of a transmitting tower. It has now more bars than it did before indicating that we have a signal strength. So let's go ahead and try. Let's click on Start. Click on Internet Explorer and I'm going to click on the little star here that indicates the favorites for the pocket PC and we'll click on this one Windows Media and lo and behold you can see the little flag waving which is indicative of it loading a web page and it has indeed loaded this Windows Media web page so that is the basic setup for an unsecured network now what do you do if you have a secured network well, uh, we need to enter uh, the password for that network, of course. The way you do that is you click on Start. You go again to Settings and Connections, Advanced. The bottom of the screen you'll see our third choice on that screen, and that is Network Card you can see that once again it's getting the name of my network which is Linksys and I'm going to click on Linksys and now it has brought up another configuration page and uh, notice here in this drop down box it now says connects to work but more importantly this tab at the bottom says authentication and we have some check boxes here and some data entry fields if we need to enter a web key we would check off uh, data encryption and if uh, and we would then uncheck the key is provided for me automatically we can then enter the network key right there and that would do it uh, as uh, that is the complete setup for the wireless card 
Uh, now, I do want to point out one other thing. Let's back out of this. If you click on Start Programs and scroll down, there's an interface here. It's actually a USONIC interface. It works with this particular card. And you can see this gives us some configuration information. It gives us the channel, gives us a transmission rate, link quality and signal strength, all this good stuff that you need, the IP address of the card, the IPAC. Um, just more useful information. Don't necessarily need it to set up the wireless card. Well, this concludes the video, and I hope that helps you out as far as uh, making your connections. Once you've done it once or twice, it's a breeze, and I'm uh, sure you won't have any problems. Thank you very much.